on motor pickers. It's got plenty of fuel in it. How long that will last <laughs> is up to you. An account manager and savvy investor has some serious cash to splash for the right car. Look at wow. that. <laughs> That's superb. There can be no skimping on style or spec. It looks like if someone was driving it in a film, it would be the baddest car. <laughs> Definitely. But for this champion weightlifter, power is everything. I'd like you to do an acceleration test. Oh my god, that is awesome. Choosing and buying a car is one of the most nerve-wracking and costly purchases most of us will ever make. Oh, this is not good for the bank. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good for the soul. I'm Paul Cowland and I've bought and sold thousands of cars. I know how to put the right buyers in the right motors for the right money. No way! I've never seen anything like it. And I'm Helen Stanley. I've designed and built bespoke vehicles for demanding clients, so I'm used to matching drivers with their perfect car. I just feel like it's made for me. Together we scour the market for the best used cars, invite confused customers to our car cave deep in the English countryside, and offer three best-in-class options. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Plus, a wild car. <gasps> Something totally surprising, but it might just be a perfect fit. I'm actually really excited by this. This is the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs>。Right, hell. Today we've got a very cool guy. He's called Imra. Really into working out, weightlifting. Spends a lot of time in the gym. Probably no. What you're into fitness? Fitness biscuit in my mouth. Oh my goodness me. 46-year-old Ibra spends most of his week driving his Audi A8 for his job in the healthcare industry. He's also squirreled away enough hard-earned cash to have a Bentley Continental as his weekend drive. But it's time for an upgrade to combine the best of both cars. Welcome. Thank you. Obviously, like me, you're in great shape, clearly. I'm into Olympic weightlifting. I've been the former British champion three times. I'm into stocks and shares. I've got a couple of properties as well, so I am a busy person, yeah. So I think you need a car that reflects that. I agree, yeah. I agree. So tell us about the kind of car that you're after. First of all, it has to look good. I love a good sound system. I'm not really into small cars. If I'm taking some friends out because I don't drink, I tend to be the designated driver. It has to be powerful, it has to be fast. Currently I have unleaded and diesel vehicles, but I'm open to consider all electric cars it has to have that degree of luxury and an enjoyment to drive. As soon as there were cars, there were luxury cars. Often bigger and packed with features that reflected status, as well as more cylinders for smoothness and more coats of paint for a richer finish. Today, they still justify big price tags in the same way, providing ultimate power, comfort and pioneering the latest innovations. Well, let's talk money. I'm thinking about a £15,000 deposit, I could stretch to £20,000 with a monthly of £1,300. Wow, that's incredible. There's so much choice, yeah. and that's where I need your expert advice. Ibra wants to replace both of his cars with one that can do it all. We've got free reign of petrol, diesel, hybrid and electric to choose from, so long as they satisfy his list of requirements and deliver top spec. OK, I'm going to start this off. I'm just going to do some press-ups while you guys are doing that. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Yes. I love that you said, wow, Audi e-tron GT Quattro fully EV. This car is a year old. Yep. It's done 9,900 miles. It's beautiful. I mean, the shape is amazing. It looks athletic. It looks like if someone was driving it in a film, it would be the baddest car. <laughs> Definitely. Released in 2021, the e-tron GT is packed in a sleek but conventional looking body. What's ultra modern is what's under the floor an 84 kilowatt hour battery powering two electric motors that turn all four wheels, hence the Quattro name. As well as the boot in the back, there's a compartment at the front to store the cable, which will plug in either side of the car. So this has got AC and DC on this side, and okay. then that's just AC that side. Brilliant. DC for the fastest public chargers, which could go from 10 to 80% in as little as 20 minutes. AC for a home wall charger, which could go from empty to full in around nine and a half hours. It's got 296 mile range and it can do 0 to 60 in four seconds. 
I have to hand it to you, Helen. You've done pretty well with this one. Although, is it a special enough badge for Ibrahim's big budget? So, new, this car would have been £87,695. OK. This car has gone up okay. to £90,000. There's a waiting list of around about a year for one of these. Okay. Okay. So, the price for the nearly new ones has been pushed up. That's interesting. So you'd need to pay a £15,000 deposit and then the monthly yeah. amount for this would be £1,279. That's not bad. Not only is the Audi a good investment because it's so sought after, it still has around 18 months of its manufacturer's warranty left. And being electric, it's free to tax and free to enter clean air zones. Yeah. First impressions? Lovely screen. I love the panoramic sunroof. It's got Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system. I can't fault this car, to be honest. Yes. It's a faultless first car. All I need is for Ibra to love it as much on the road as he did in the showroom. It feels good. I can feel the power in this car. I'm going to have to say, Stanley, that I think this is an inspired choice. Do you know what I love about it? The fact that it doesn't look like your typical EV car. Yeah. Well, let's see if he likes driving it. Hello. How's it going? This takes Audi to another level. It feels like I'm in a in a mini spaceship. <laughs> I'd like you to do an acceleration test. Oh my god, it just goes. That is amazing. Come back, mate. We've got something else that's kind of along a similar line, but a bit better. You know, it'll be very difficult to beat this, I think. Okay, we'll see. Enjoy the rest of your test drive. Good effort, Stanley. Strong start. Strong start, but you have to remember, they baked that particular cake with an even tastier topping, mm. which is car two. It drives fabulously. It just goes. But I'm really keen to see what's next. Wow. Oh. There you go. Wow, well, that's the reaction I wanted. It's a Porsche. It is a Porsche. Porsche Taycan, huh? Taycan. Yeah, it's the 4S. Yeah, yeah. Fully electric, of course. What do you think? Blimey. It just looks so muscular. Yeah. Designed to be an electric car for purist drivers, the Taycan had more to live up to than EVs that had come before. The story goes that the chief developer looked at battery-powered competition but decided that the only benchmark that mattered was the 911. There had to be an electric Porsche, not just an electric car. Helen's e-tron GT does share many design and manufacturing elements with the Porsche, but the Taycan has the better badge. Also has 22 more miles range, but it's the little details, things like the charging door, which, unlike the Audi, opens electrically. Previous owner ordered this great car, great colour, and then proceeded to tick £23,000 worth of options. It's got the sport design package, which is all the sexy gloss bits. That's three and a half grand, believe it or not. OK. This is a great option. It's got the Performance Battery Plus, okay. £4,600, so the extra performance, Brilliant. the extra range. It's got the 20-inch aero wheels, pano roof, another 1100 okay. quid as well. Honestly, mate, it just goes on and on yeah. and on and on. I am amazed. Charging time is nine and a half hours on a 9.6 kilowatt charger on your box at home. But if you can find one of the fast 270 kilowatt public chargers, this thing will go from 10 to 80% in about 20 minutes. But Paul, it's a year older than the Audi and it's pricier. Why don't you tell Ibra how much this Taycan will cost? It was £106,000. OK. 344. Today, at two years old, it is £97,980. That would give you a monthly payment of 1376 I mean, it's only slightly above the budget, so it shouldn't be a problem, to be honest. Come and have a sit inside. Not only is this car holding its value well, it's only shed £8,000 in two years, it's also from an official Porsche centre, meaning Ibra gets two years manufacturer's warranty and Porsche's own breakdown cover. It feels really, really good. No gimmicks, yeah. just everything where you need it. Mm -hmm. And just try the haptics, just try the button feel on those controls. Oh, yeah. Every time you press a button, you get a vibration in your finger. It's got the bow system, that's nearly a grand's okay. worth. Yeah. You've got reverse camera, you've got parking assist. Brilliant. But of course, the crown and glory, literally, of this interior is that pano roof. It kind of lights up the interior, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, I say, buckle up, mate. Go for a spin. And I mean, this seriously, you don't get a ticket. They're so I won't. quick. <laughs> 
Taycan is 0.1 of a second quicker to 62 than the Audi, and I'm sure champion athletes like Ibra will agree every millisecond counts. The seats seem to be more comfortable than the Audi. It's got a feeling of class. Right, Stanley, what's better than an Audi e-tron quattro? Two Audi e-tron mm -hmm. quattros? Better badge, better interior, better handling. It's Porsche. Hello. Hiya, Brit. What do you reckon? I'm loving it. I think visually it looks or, and feels better than the Audi so far. Yeah, quite right. Is it faster? Oh my God, that is awesome. I've got another badge, so... Really? Get back here and I'll change your mind. See you shortly. Bye. Bye-bye. It's better than yours. We've shown Ibra the finest luxury EVs, but we've got two more cars with old-fashioned engines to offer him too. Mine's got world-class comfort and gadgets. <sighs> I never leave oh. in this space. <laughs> oh. But I've got an extravagant wild car with a taste of hope. That is awesome. Helen and I are picking big budget luxury cars for Ibra from Birmingham. He loves his limo like Audi and his weekend Bentley, but he's ready to swap them both for one vehicle that can do it all. It has to look good, it has to be powerful, it has to be fast. I went first with a badge he adores the all electric Audi e tron GT. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, I love that you said wow. Then I stepped things up with something similar but snazzier the electric Porsche Taycan. Oh my God, that is awesome. But it's ultimate luxury he's after, and I think he can do no better than my next pick. Ta-da! Mercedes. Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, class. S-Class. Yeah. Just under 9,000 miles, under a year old. Wow. This has a three-litre petrol engine and okay. it's hybrid. That sounds good. And together, you will get 429 horsepower. Wow, that's impressive. Naught to 60 is 4.7 seconds. That's amazing. I like the fact that it's hybrid. Yeah. And Mercedes have always been kind of the, the king of luxury. Absolutely. <laughs> Ibra isn't wrong. The S-Class has been the last word in luxury saloons for 50 years. Each generation over-engineered to give the most refined ride and each pioneering the latest tech. ABS in 1978, voice control in 96, adaptive cruise control in 99. Being in an S-Class is like glimpsing into the future. The headlamps have over a million pixels and can illuminate up to 650 metres. And the tech doesn't stop there. Let me show you this. Oh, wow. I love the way the, the handles just come out. I know Ibra likes a very big car, and this is the long wheelbase version, measuring nearly 5.3 metres. More than enough room to accommodate the additional chauffeur package. He will be the best designated driver in town. So you end up with more room for your feet. Wow. And a footrest. This is so spacious, and, and, and it keeps going. Keeps going. There's just so much room. room. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, come on, Hells. It's slower and not sporty like the EVs, and Ibra doesn't have a personal chauffeur. He'll miss out on the backseat luxury because he wants to be the driver. Now it is £114,990. You would need to put down your full deposit of 20000 OK. So, monthly, £1,304.87. pence. That's not bad. As it's almost brand new, it's still got most of its three-year warranty left. And while Ibra might not have much use for the reclining back seats, the good news is that the front of the cabin is just as special. Oh, I'm never leaving oh. this space. I know. And I like the way the seats just hug you. So on here, we have got this incredible 360-degree camera. Yeah. Best on the market. OK. One thing that I just yeah. think is amazing, in the glove box, mm -hmm. There's a scent, and you can control the level of scent in the car. They've literally thought of everything. Brilliant. Brilliant. There are so many gadgets and yeah. comfort features in here that it, we've been here for days, I was telling yeah. you all of them. Yeah. Best thing for you to do is 
go out and test drive this for yourself. Definitely. While the EVs favour a sportier ride, the air suspension setup in my four-wheel drive S-Class will make it feel ultra smooth. But this is pure comfort. I love this pillow behind the head. Yeah, it's good. I mean, this takes luxury to a whole new planet. I think it's a beautiful car, but I didn't realise he was doing airport runs for a business, but give him a bell. He'll love it, let's find out. Are you at Gatwick? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna fall asleep in this car, it's amazing. The seats are so comfortable and it's very, very smooth. I think, Ibra, this car is very you. It's luxury, it's got power. I do like it very much. All right, then enjoy the rest of that test drive. Apparently, Paul has something else for you. See you shortly. Bye-bye. There is nowhere to go from here. Oh, yes, there is. It's probably one of the most comfortable cars that I've ever driven. But I'm really looking forward to see what's next. So far, we've shown you three prestige executive German saloons. Now we're going to go a little bit closer to home. Are we? Well, have a look. This is what it is. Wow. There you Amazing. go. The Bentley Bentayga, fully loaded. That is awesome. Oh, thank you, Hells. Enjoy. So you have got a six-year-old car, uh -huh. 600 horsepower, wow. 0 to 60 in four seconds, despite Excellent. the fact it is actually classed as a small building. It's beautiful. One of Britain's finest car makers, Bentley, has been turning out luxury motors for over a century. Claiming to have unrivaled levels of craftsmanship, their team can take at least 10 hours to sand and polish paintwork, while 15 different leather hides are trimmed and stitched by hand for every Bentayga interior. Launched in 2015, the Bentayga has become Bentley's bestseller, and it comes with an engine I know Ibra will adore because he already has one. Six litre, 12 cylinder W12. To me, this is the epitome of a luxury car. I'm very fond of Bentleys. You know, I already own a Bentley Continental GT. Whereas this, you can put your mates in there. You can. Oh, put... you, not only can you carry them, but you can entertain them because you somebody can. ticked the box, the very expensive box, the yeah. rear seat entertainment package. Really. And while you think running it might be pricey, Bentley does offer a fixed price service menu. So it's 800 quid for an interim, 1,200 quid for a major service. It's not quite Ford Fiesta money, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad. Not bad. It's more than double the cost of an S-Class major service. The tax is £110 per year more, and the official fuel economy is terrible. Just 21 MPG. So it was, believe it or not, £179,580. Today, six years later, it was just, just 89,989. I can get this on an HP over 48 months with a balloon at the end down to one, three, five, two. So just a fraction over budget, but pretty much That's where you want bad. it to be. That's not bad. So even though Ibra will be paying around the same amount as the other cars, the Bentley will have the smaller balloon payment at the end of the term, making it easier to pay off or own outright if he wants to. Oh, it's like coming home, isn't it? It is, yeah. What I love about a Bentley interior is every surface is hand finished. And it's still got the Breitling clock, which is great. Just little things, just little touches. Yeah. Nothing's quite as special exactly. as this. You know, I can't fault it, to be honest. It's got plenty of fuel in it. How long that will last so <laughs> is up to you. That sound makes you proud to be British. He may have liked the EVs and the hybrid, but if I know Ibra, I don't think anything will make him feel as good on the road as a W12 Bentley. Wow. It's got both power and comfort all in one. Absolutely awesome. This is the kind of car people buy when they want to just drive around going, look how much money I think I have. But they are also the finest motor car that money can buy. Let's give them a call. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you getting on with that Bentley? This is absolutely amazing. How do you feel about the fact that this is not a luxury saloon? You're sort of sat way up in the air. Is that what you really want? I thought that I'd be sitting in a kind of a tank of a car and it's going to feel sluggish, but it's quite the opposite. It feels very responsive and it's a Bentley. Have you ever had that instance where you go to a restaurant and you think about ordering the steak and then you don't order the steak and then everyone else orders the steak? Don't do that in car form. Order the steak. <laughs> 
Well, we'll see you in a bit. See you shortly. Take care. I don't know which way this is going to go. Tough. Four great cars. He likes all of them. The Bentayga was absolutely out of this world. I'm now in a position to make a decision, but I'm still confused. Car one of the day had a badge that Ibra loves, the all-electric Audi e-tron GT. What did you think about that? I like the shape of it, but I didn't like the seats. They were slightly uncomfortable. OK. Take off the Audi tracksuit and slip on a tuxedo and you get car two, the Porsche Taycan. I think it's a lovely looking car. I like the way it drives, but it's very lowered down. Car three was the epitome of a luxury saloon, the hybrid Mercedes S-Class. This is probably the most elegant and the most comfortable vehicle that I've ever sat in. It's beautiful. And finally, my opulent wild car, the petrol-powered Bentley Bentayga. I love the roar of the 6-litre W12 engine. But what I didn't like was the screen in the centre console. It's a little bit outdated. OK, so you've got to pick one as your favourite. What's it going to be? So the car that I would like to pick today is the Porsche. Oh, I knew it! What a and fine it is choice. a good choice. Pick it for a spin. Do you hear that, Hells? That's the silent sound of sales success. That really takes the biscuit. Sometimes, mate, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>